Let us explain how a trilaminar gastrula, which is kind of a flat structure, transforms to the basic shape of the human body. One of the mechanisms here is the expansion of the amniotic vesicle. So let's uh, make a cross section or transversal section through an late gastrula. I will introduce some new structures here that will be explained in detail later, but for now, this is the dorsal body ectoderm. In the meantime, we got the neural tube, the neural tube that invaginated from the ectoderm, and it's accompanied by a paired structure called neural crest. Both share the same color according to the to their ectodermal origin. This origin was also stimulated by one of the organizers of the embryo development, which is the notochord. You already know where it came from. They are paired dorsal aorta here, and ventrally we got the roof of the yolk vesicle, which will be the future intestine line with the endoderm. Not forgetting the mesoderm, I mean the paraxial mesoderm, the interme intermediary mesoderm, and the lateral plate mesoderm consisting of two layers, the somatopleuric and splanchnopleuric mesoderm. The situation is symmetrical on the other side. So let's label the structures. This is the dorsal body ectoderm. This is the neural tube. They will form the central nervous system. This is the paired neural crest. Both of the ectodermal origin. From the other side, this is the primitive gut. Of the yolk vesicle. Because here is the space of the amniotic vesicle, right? The prim prim primitive gut is lined with the endoderm. And let's label also the mesoderm with this part, which is the paraxial or somatic mesoderm, because it will be, be segmented into body segments called somites. This is the intermediate, intermediate mesoderm. And this is the lateral plate mesoderm with the two layers, with the splunknopleuric mesoderm that adheres to the wall of the yolk sac, yolk vesicle, and the somatopleuric mesoderm here. That adheres to the wall of the yolk, uh, sorry, of the amniotic vesicle. Okay? not forgetting the notochord and the paired 
left and right dorsal aorta. Now what happens here is uh, expansion of the amniotic vesicle and by expanding in this direction it will close it will, it will encircle the yolk vesicle trap its roof inside it will become the primitive gut and it will close ventrally the the the, the ventral body wall. So after this closure driven by the expanding amniotic vesicle it already this this embryo will already resembles the basic body form with dorsally having the neurotube accompanied with neurocrest the mesoderm splits into, let us say, three populations in the paraxial som somatic mesoderm. The somites have a small cavity inside. The notochord stays here below the neurotube. Ventrally, we got, ventrally to the notochord, we got the dorsal aorta. A unified uh, tube now. The gut became trapped inside, so in a transversal section it looks like this is the intestine. And what happened to the intermediate mesoderm? It's the intermediate mesoderm. It's a population here it becomes separated okay from the paraxial mesoderm and now let's follow the splunkhole-pleuric mesoderm the splunkhole-pleuric mesoderm still accompanies the the primitive gut and the outer uh, layer the somatopleuric mesoderm is now adhering to the body wall and they both close to encircle a body cavity called coelom cavity. So this is the dorsal direction. Here is ventral direction. This is the surface or ectoderm surface body ectoderm that will form the epidermis later on its derivatives namely the neurotube and neurocrest and neurotube the somatic mesoderm or the somites the body segments here we got the intermediate intermediate also called nephro genic mesoderm that will contribute to the formation of mesonephros and the final kidney. And what about the mesoderm of the uh, somatopleuric and spongopleuric la layer? Uh, it encircles the coelom cavity We can see from the color that it's lined with the mesoderm. And this uh, body cavity
will be split into three cavities later on. Namely, by development of the pericardial sac, it will give rise to the pericardial cavity, and by development of the diaphragm, it will split into the pleural and the peritoneal cavities. Originally, they w these three cavities, you know, from anatomy, are derived from the from a single body cavity called coelom, which is lined with the somatopleuric mesoderm. This mesoderm will contribute to the formation of the body wall. It's muscles mainly. And the inner layer of the mesoderm is the splanchnopleuric mesoderm that will form the mesenteries. And also the uh, the mesodermal derived components of the intestinal wall. Uh, this is the the intestine and this is the dorsal mesentery and the ventral mesentery. So somatopleuric is the parietal la layer, while splanchnopleuric is the visceral, the inner layer. And that already looks resembles the uh, the basic form of the embryonic body. I should not forget labeling the notochord. which is a temporary structure, but an important organizer and inducer of development of other structures, and the dorsal aorta. Unified dorsal aorta. Now we, let's pay some attention to the body somites at first. So it will be fine just to draw this, this, this part, the dorsal part of the, of the embryo with the neurotube, neurocrest, and the somites. So this um, m part of mesoderm contains a small red microscopic cavity called Somito cell, and it will split into uh, several cell populations. The ventromedial population will become independent. They will they will migrate and uh, it will be called sclerotome. which will form the vertebrae or ribs, cartilaginous and later on uh, bony structures. The middle part, the middle population, will become muscle. In this segmented form, it's called myotome. And these cells will form the 
muscles of the of the body and of the uh, upper and lower limbs. While the population closest to the body surface, known as the dermatome, will form the connective tissue component of skin, known as the dermis. So we should not forget that even muscles and skin had this segmental origin. The somites are visible in the embryo. The somatic stage ranges between um, 20 and 30 days after fertilization. And originally they are 42 to 44 pairs of somites arranged in the craniocaudal direction. And uh, by the end of the uh, fifth week, uh, 37 pairs persist. Namely, five occipital. These uh, somites become will become incorporated into the basis of the skull. Then we got seven cervical somites, twelve thoracic somites, five lumbar somites, five sacral somites, and also originally in human eight to ten coccygeal somites, but they will be reduced to two to three. So this reduction happens here. So now we have the basic body form established and later on we will follow the development of individual organ systems.